All right, let's switch gears right now. As the track and field season kicks into high gear this spring, one greater Houston standout making his mark is Katie Taylor's Otito Agbanaya, a shot put sensation who also knows a thing about playing the defensive line. More now on Taylor Mustang, Otito Agbanaya. When Otito Agbanaya lets loose of the shot put, it's best to clear the way. Watch out. Watch out. Katie Taylor Sr. owns the state's top throw so far this season. His early season heave of 65 feet 5 inches ranks second in the nation in high school track and field. Uh, I think there's a lot of great competition, especially being in a big state of Texas. There's lots of people you can compete against. I mean, you look up who, threw, who I threw against last year and just people like Gabe Oladipo, Adrian Pippery, just going against those guys every meet and just really pushing yourself to be the best you can be. He's special. Uh, lots of things he do is just natural. I know Coach Watson does a great job uh, coaching him, but his movements are just uh, he's smooth and, and strong. Smooth and strong, not just in the shot put, but also as a coveted defensive line prospect who signed to play football and track and field for the UCLA Bruins, making Otito a rare dual sport athlete on the major collegiate level. Both, I'm both, I believe I'm both. I think being a dual sport athlete, I think a lot of guys nowadays get you know cut off and they're trying to focus on one sport. I think it really helps to do both and I think it helps you do other things and it's, it's good to be good at other things, so. Great athlete, he's, he's humble, uh, great teammate, good person in the locker room. Uh, there was, there's not a person you'd rather have on your team than, than Tito. At one point last spring, Otito owned the nation's top shot put throw of 68 feet 6 inches. This fall, the 6 foot 4, 290 pounder was a standout defensive lineman. His shot put coach, Jacob Watson, is also a defensive assistant in football. It was a big beast. I have 73 tackles on the season, 25 tackles for a loss, and seven sacks. Uh, I came up big with a fumble recovery in our playoff game against Bush. Uh, he, he's just an animal out there to have on the defensive line. But it's here in the shot put ring where Otito will close out his high school career, even serving as a mentor for the younger athletes that hope to follow in his footsteps. Uh, he does a great job of teaching our younger kids here. He, uh, he kind of takes them under his wing and teaches them the steps and how he learned this way and how I'm kind of addressing it to them. He kind of breaks it down for them. Uh, I have three or four freshmen on here that have never thrown before, and he's kind of, like I said, kind of taking them under their wing. Uh, just to be, like, always work hard at it. I mean, it's never going to come easy. It's something that's really frustrating sometimes. I mean, it's just one of the things you just can't quit. It doesn't just happen in one day, and you just got to keep working at it, and eventually it'll come. Eventually, Otito may have to make a choice between football and track. But at least for the foreseeable future, he figures to remain a dominant force as a dual sport athlete.